Hi, my name is Emma Phillips and I lead the GFGR Innovation Lab. Uh, I would like to introduce Marianne. Hi, I'm Marianne Fay. I'm the Chief Economist of what we call Sustainable Development at the World Bank. And I'm also the fairy godmother, or at least I hope I'm a fairy and not a witch, to a group called the Geospatial Operational Support Team, or GOES. Marianne, could you tell us how OpenStreetMap is being used across the Sustainable Development Network? So we use uh, OpenStreetMap in a variety of ways. We use it, for example, to look at land use cover and monitor the state of parks in various cities around the world. We're using it to monitor the progress of electrification or uh, look at uh, road safety. Uh, one of my colleagues developed a program called Driver that monitors road safety using OpenStreetMap. Another colleague has developed a, an excellent, uh, very useful rural accessibility index for 114 countries. And then one of the things also we're using it for is mapathons such as the one that's being organized today. Marian, could you tell us how you think this approach of using OpenStreetMap is different from using traditional forms of geospatial data? Whereas with OpenStreetMap, we can actually help improve uh, this data. We can contribute to it. And we see that in many cases, once we start using OpenStreetMap for a particular project, then we try to give back. Other things that we like about OpenStreetMap is that it really enables us to give back to the community. So in many countries, you know, Vietnam, Mauritius, St. Vincent's, we've trained entire communities to be able to use OpenStreetMap and also, of course, then be able to give back to it. And then finally, the last thing and the reason why we love OpenStreetMap is that it's not limited to just roads or just this. I mean, you can use it to measure the number of libraries in a city or the number of tennis courts or tourist points of interest. And you never know what you're going to need in terms of your development challenge. So in your view, what do you think the importance of this data that you've discussed, OpenStreetMap data, open data, geospatial data, is for the climate change? You know, as you know, climate change impacts are slow but subtle and often invisible to the naked eye. So it's really useful to be able to use something like geospatial data in order to monitor these things, say changes in rainfall pattern using NASA data, uh, forests, you know, what's happening with forests or land use and so on and so forth. It's going to be critical for the monitoring of commitments. Uh, I talked about um, uh, Forests and you know World Resource Institute, for example, has Forest Watch. But we also have things like uh, the new Japanese, uh, I think it's called GeoSat2, the new Japanese satellite that enables you to monitor pollution up in the con atmospheric concentration of pollution of specific pollutant and do point measurements so that we know where it's coming from. So, uh, and I'm also really excited that some countries and some institutions are really trying to develop this kind of data in a way that can be done for those countries that can't afford their own satellites. I think that the, what the Australians are doing with their open data cube as a public sector alternative to uh, Google Earth, I think is very exciting. And I believe they're doing it for both Africa and a number of countries in Latin America. Thank you, Marianne. And why do you think the collaborative nature of these exercises is so important? I think they're very important for several reasons. One is that it enables us to train people and you know, grow the community. And that brings us to the advantage of, of this data, of these mapathons, is that we can grow the data as well. You know, in so many of our exercises, we're dependent upon getting some money from somebody or getting some data from somebody. But this really enables us to create the data ourselves and do that while creating a community of informed users. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Marianne, for sharing these extremely interesting insights. Uh, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much.